With the advent of IoT, there's no escaping from the Wi-Fi. I myself have 14 wireless clients on my network when there's no one at home. In this video, I'm putting head-to-head -head a similarly priced access point, Zysel NW1123HD and Ubiquiti Nano HD. What you notice immediately after taking the Zysel AP out of the box is that it feels incredibly solid. It has metal base and it feels like it's built like a tank. Nano HD also has metal base, but it feels a little bit like a toy. Zysel AP is slightly larger, but the size difference is negligible once the devices are deployed. When it comes to physical features, Nano HD has the bare minimum, a single network port and a recessed reset button. Zysel adds another Ethernet port, a proper grounding socket, a console connector and a Kensington lock socket. When it comes to radio, both operate at 2.4 and 5 GHz frequency, with the Ubiquiti having a slight advantage at 5 GHz, but it has one more antenna. NW1123 and Nano HD support PoE, but Zysel has an option to be powered using the enclosed DC power adapter. When it comes to setup and management, Zysel NW1123HD supports hybrid operation, to which Zysel refers as Nebula Flex. This means that you can manage your access point locally using its built-in GUI, or you can add it to your Nebula Cloud site and manage it online. I myself prefer the latter, as it's a convenient single point of management for your network. Also, you don't have to keep track of the IP address of each piece of equipment on your network, and in case you forget your password, you can simply reset it without having to physically locate the device to reset it to factory defaults. Ubiquiti requires setting up a Unify controller, which I personally find unreliable. I had to install it a few times, each time it required readapting gear, which was far from a walk in the park. Now, onto what really matters when it comes to wireless networking, the speed and the range. I measured performance at 5 GHz, since it's all about that high speed 802.11ac Wi-Fi. Zysel's NW1123 turned out to be a solid performer. Can't say that about the other guy. The Nano HD did only okay in the living room where the AP was set up. When I went to either of bedrooms, the connection would drop instantly, which was quite a disappointment. The only time I managed to get a reading, it performed at half the speed of what Zysel was capable of. Let's see how both look inside to find out where this difference is coming from. Taking the 1123 apart is really simple. Undo a few screws and it opens right up. It's a whole different story with the Ubiquiti Nano. It's sonic welded, which makes it cheaper to produce, but significantly harder to disassemble. To crack it open, I used a pocket knife to dig into the casing all around to break off that seam. The cover is also held in place by five retention clips. I had to push the blade a little deeper and pull it outwards. In the Zysel's AP, we can see an antenna module which is separate from the PCB. The module comprises five antennas mounted to a metal plate, which isolates the noise from the active elements on the PCB. Nano HD has the antennas fixed onto the PCB without any shielding whatsoever. Yet another difference are the shielding covers on the front of the PCB and absorber at the back. You can't see any such in Ubiquiti's access point. While this might seem like an over-engineered design, it shows that Zysel is well aware that the Spectrum is a precious resource and knows how to get the most out of it. With numerous Wi-Fi networks all around running at the same channels, this is what really makes the difference. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.